Gone are the days when Jamaican dancehall as a collective is ignored. For since the police ramped up dance lockoffs as part of their drive to enforce the Noise Act of 1997, the Spaces pushback has gotten the attention and responses from pretty much all the relevant leaders in government. Here is what happened on Wednesday at the House of Dancehall. Senator Damien Crawford, the first and only minister with direct responsibility for entertainment, took the House of Dancehall stage, ultimately in support of something he was never shy about when his party led the government. A presentation in which he took the time to remind and educate attendees of his work as minister and put forward arguments in support of an amicable solution to the noise abatement upheave. Industry players made their voices heard. Among them, artist manager Heavy D, graphic designer Andre Milwood, promoter Ras Arella, a very passionate dancer Kimiko Versatile, and more. We have this habit, and it's not just in the entertainment industry, but as people, Jamaican people and black people, we love segregate ourselves. We need to stop it. And as persons have said before, this is one of the strongest movements I see here so far, but it can be stronger. Because the reality, you know, not about police are fighting, police not fighting, you know. The reality, you know, if a policeman want to play hard, you know, a worries, you know, because the amount of permit you need to keep a dance. You now, ordinary people can't keep dance around here. The, pol the police just say, go on a case, AC, and come and make you the permit. Because the reality is, you have to go jams, you have to go J cap, you have to go get fire permit. You have to go get liability insurance, yeah? And all these things before you go to the police. Why not, like, if you say you're going to create the zones, why not um, do your research, do what you need to do, and say, okay, where do where is a zone? Um, where, where else key party that they do? Up, up to Mondays is a zone. So instead of creating these other places that people can't go because they probably can't afford, I know dancers, artists, whoever, that walk enough miles Forget to a party. They don't have no money, but them walk. You understand? And sometimes they go home with a little tree grand card, them, them win a little competition or so. So we have to consider this too. We caught up with Damien after to give us on camera his closing arguments. Well, as I said, I'm very happy that the entertainment people are now saying that they're a legitimate business, they're a legitimate industry, and should be given up a platform to speak and to have conversations like any other legitimate business. Um, noise is a nuisance um, from entertainment, but as I said earlier, stench is a nuisance from farms, um, dust is a nuisance from mining, and, and every industry has a nuisance. No other industry however, has been affected directly with the, with the efforts to reduce the nuisance as entertainment has been. And so I believe that there's a solution um, out there, and that solution lies in having the parish councils offer extensions based on geographic realities, community realities, and um, consideration for zones. Um, so a zone is not only an, a, a venue, most of our events are not venues, but an area can be a zone, a, a, a community center can be a zone, an a, 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 a entire community can say on Wednesday we are a zone. So basically I'm just trying to give the information that I have, put the plans that we were trying to implement and hope that it will help them in their lobby efforts moving forward. And I mean, when it comes to these plans, we were, we were hearing a lot about them when the previous um, was in government and it felt like it just went away. Did it, did it just go away or what, is, what happened? It, it seemed that um, there was less interest um, in, in, in pushing entertainment. Uh, for example, as I said, I was a minister directly responsible for entertainment. Now, um, Babs Grinch is a minister of culture for which entertainment fall underneath it. And so there, there, there's a difference, it seemed to be in priority. I know that Babs Grinch is a lover of the industry. Um, and so I am encouraged that she will put this forward and that's why I'm coming with, my, with the ideas because if it is that it is the lack of information about some of the ideas maybe this will know I know that her heart is there and I'm hoping that she will take some of these ideas and push them further forward but government also face um, constraining human resource like law writers and stuff like that and sometimes um, the priority is given to other industries to have those laws written. That's one of the reasons why we were delayed. And maybe that is the problem, I really don't know. But as I said, the, the, the outcry for entertainment now and the organization that they have put in their groups will cause for greater um, possibilities and greater outcomes. And the government is the people, but the people is also the people. So what is your message to the people and what, what do we need to do 
to, to, to move forward this agenda? Well, definitely the industry just need to be further organized um, to, to, to act as one voice, speak as one voice. The bigger your number, the more impact you have on, on politics and therefore on policy. So that is what they have to do. And um, to just encourage more information and research to be out there. As I said, we did tools at trade. Nobody knew. Most people don't know that they can do that. Um, that's an encouragement of the entertainment industry. We do artist ambassador, we do arts in the park. That's an encouragement of the entertainment industry. However, we have not seen an uptake sufficient to say that they are knowledgeable and informed. So we do some self-policing, rate their events, because nuisance is also content, and some communities don't want some content. So if you find that um, a community is calling for nuisance, it might not be the decibel, it might be the content. And if we have rated events, a community can say we take G-rated events, but not X-rated events. All of those things can help the industry. Anything else you want to tell us? Well, I'm just saying that um, there are people in government that are actually lobbying for, and I say government, I mean politicians, who have always lobbied for entertainment. And I think that you're blessed now with myself as one, and, and I think Babs is one too. So if we work together, I think that it can be solved.